Well, today I thought I'd show you a little bit of my own personal Doctor Who history. Um, it uh, was quite a surprise to me, but uh, it was a very nice surprise. So way back in the 1980s, in 1986, uh, about, I think it must have been about February time, something like that, the Doctor Who magazine, as it was then known, uh, held a short story competition so you could uh, enter a short story and it could be from any doctor um, and uh, the prize was that you could win a uh, sevens Dalek kit so I duly entered um, and I uh, wrote a short story uh, about the sixth Doctor Colin Baker uh, who uh, I was just enamoured with um, and then lo and behold in July went to buy the Doctor Who magazine from W.H. Smith, got it home, and found my name listed uh, and my story published, and I'd won a runner-up in the over-15 category. Uh, so I was just over the moon. I mean, it was a complete surprise. Um, there's some lovely artwork they did for the story, and they published it. It's nice to be a little published author, and then it says at the bottom, Unfortunately, uh, I did include my full address, which because I'm an idiot, uh, so I had to contact the publishers of Doctor Who magazine um, to get my prize. So, lo and behold, after I contacted them, I got a lovely letter from Sheila Craner, who was the editor, basically saying, you know, congratulations, well done on winning the, uh, the competition or being a runner-up in the competition, winning second prize. Um, and that uh, they would contact Sevens to send me my uh, prize, which he duly did. He sent me a nice autographed kit, um, and that started quite a quite a correspondence with Stuart Evans of Sevens. It went on for a couple of years, got to know each other quite well. Um, this isn't the Dalek, the kit I never made. It's still all in there. Um, but this was one I actually bought from Sevens, um, so to give you an idea, it was a lovely kit at the time. I mean, it still is. It's a very well-made kit. Um, quite hard to do, but then back form kits usually are. Um, it's not like an Airfix kit. You have to uh, put it together and cut it out with sheet styling. Um, but I, I love my kit and I love my Sevens prize which uh, I was very grateful to receive. But then something else that surprised me was this was a big package that this came in and they decided to, I'll just get this up, it's quite a big thing. They decided to send me the original artwork as well that they used in the story, which I was just knocked out by. So this is the original uh, pen and ink art on board that John Ridgway uh, had done, John Ridgway. Um, and it was nice because it featured the Doctor, Perry, and the Monsters, and the Dalek, and Davos, Sideman. So I got all the really nice uh, enemies with my favourite Doctor in this gorgeous bit of artwork. I've since got it signed by Colin Baker. I would like to get signed by Nicola Bryant as well. Um, but yeah, so it was uh, an absolutely wonderful time to be a Doctor Who fan, especially to be a Doctor Who fan with some exclusive stuff. And it sort of drew me into fandom, where I've been ever since. Well, I hope that was of interest and that uh, you enjoyed seeing the original artwork. And you can see, so you can see that you can see pen marks and that on it. It's really nice. Uh, it's my prized possession. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, hearing about that. Um, any questions, just pop it in the comments, and I'll see if I can answer it. Um, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks then. Bye.